Gems, it's your girl Crystal O, and this video that I'm about to make literally just kind of, I feel was just pressed on my heart really randomly while I was about to make another video. So I just kind of wanted to share a little bit and hopefully, you know, encourage someone out there, hopefully just kind of maybe break down an elephant in the room that, you know, people might have concerns about or just thoughts on. Um, so yeah, well, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, um, like this video, comment below, and share your thoughts once you're done. Um, and yeah, let's just kind of get into it. So when I first started my channel, um, I started it when I first got saved. So I want to say this was around 20, um, 2018. Let's see. Yeah. No. No. Hold on. Let me pull up my phone and look at my little, my little calendar because my dates are, are bad i'm really bad with dates so please hold i got saved june 8 of 2014. this was the summer before my junior year sophomore year i got saved at the end of my sophomore year so yeah around that time period um is when i gave my life to jesus um became very 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 passionate about you know God and kind of everything he's done for me and wanting to share that with you all and really just bring you all into that which is where Crystal's diary essentially started from and you know was birthed from just a love for sharing about Jesus but also wanting to connect and interact with um, a lot of you all um, that are also believers young believers you know um, that we're looking for someone to follow, to be inspired by, to connect with, and just kind of see another person living on fire for Jesus that loves hair, makeup, and just, you know, shares authentically. And that was generally the, the goal, right? That was generally the, the desire of my heart. Um, so fast forward to, um, let's say fast forward to grad school right um i get to grad school and of course a lot of you um know and might be aware if you've watched previous videos that in grad school i actually had a faith crisis and i really struggled in whether i even believed in god uh for a good season um well for a good good amount of time i would say about you know a couple of months maybe i was just kind of like i don't know i don't know you know and it was just really hard to grasp like my understanding or belief of god at the at the time um you know eventually i did get to a place where i was like okay yeah god is totally real like i believe in him like oh my gosh like duh you know and i kind of moved forward um but then i realized that you know as I continue to grow older, that same zeal, that same passion, or that same, you know, I guess, I don't know what the word is, but that same approach or that same, I guess, emotion driven, um, you know, being or actions kind of dwindled down right um and you know i know a lot of you are like well you know more christian videos more videos about this and that you know related to christian topics which i think are amazing which i think that are, they are great you know um but i did just want to also share um that you know i'm also in a place where you know going having gone through so much life and having gone through um just so many different things that shape you and change you and kind of make you wonder more about the world or just kind of help you learn more about yourself um it does change things right and everything isn't always going to have a megaphone to speak about or to discuss or share your thoughts on because some things just need to be processed and quiet some things just need to be you know uh, worked out in, in, in your quiet place or in your quiet room or prayer room. Um, so that's kind of what I feel happened to me for the past couple of years, I think, <laughs> with Christian content, like heavy on the Christian content. And I think I just kind of geared it more towards like lifestyle and vlogs and couples and, you know, of course, that stuff that I already did, but just kind of like toned down the Christian aspect of my channel a bit. So I know that from previous videos where I've asked you guys what you want to see, um, it's mostly been about Christian topics and then I can only wonder and think to myself, man, they must think I'm not a Christian anymore um, or they must think that I'm not 
in the faith or they might have these thoughts right I don't know right I'm not in your head but I can only assume and I honestly just wanted to say that I am a Christian and I still believe in Jesus um, and another thing about this video is that I also want to encourage the believer now the believer as an adult um, that you can still cling on to God and I wanted to encourage you to continue clinging on to God um, I feel like we are in a time, we're in an age where it just seems so easy to leave God and to let go of God um, and to kind of like almost put him away with your toys, right? Um, it was a thing of my childhood or it was a thing of my more innocent years or my more naive years. And I just wanted to encourage you to, to not put away Jesus, to not put away God, um, despite how much you grow, despite how much you change, despite how much you go through, keep Jesus, you know? It may not always look like you talking about God publicly making videos about God, you know, stuff like that, but keep him in your heart and continue to grow in relationship with him. I think it does break my heart to see very prominent Christians um, turn away from Christianity, Jesus, and the gospel. It really, really breaks my heart because it's like, man, you are such a tool for the kingdom. I know we all have our choices. We all can make our own, you know, decision. Um, but it doesn't doesn't change the fact that it hurts, right? It's just like, dang, that sucks. Um, but in that same note, I wanted to encourage you watching this video um, to make sure that you're not rooting your faith in another person, to make sure you're not rooting your belief in Jesus in another person. Because when that happens, um, if X, Y, and Z stop believing, then you start unbelieving, right? Um, if X, Y, and Z starts to stray away from, you know, the principles of God or just whatever it might look like that you, you know, don't believe or believe in, you might start to stray yourself. So I just wanted to encourage you about that as well, because we are all growing. We are all learning ourselves. We're, none of us are perfect. We're all figuring this thing out. But despite figuring it out, I just wanted to encourage you to hold on to Jesus. Let us not lose our awe of God and what he's done for us and who he is in his glory, truly in his glory and his might. And y'all, as you grow older, like I've only found that life gets harder, you know, like it's like, oh my gosh, in college, it's easy to love Jesus in college because you know, all you have are classes and friends you can hide from in your room if you want to, right? Uh, maybe a job. But when you become an adult and get into the real world, it really does feel like, man, there are so many things that are fighting for your attention. There are so many things that are fighting for your worship. And if you aren't rooted and aren't pressing to truly seek God um, in whatever it is, right? Um, you, you could slip away very easily. I think that you know, the enemy is very tempting with the devices he uses to keep us from God. And I think we have to fight. Like, I don't even think we have to fight. I know we have to fight. And I'm speaking for myself as well, right? You know, there's so much of culture that shapes how we behave and how we respond and what we wear and how we talk and what songs we play over our TikToks or Reels, right? Um, but in that, I just wanted to encourage you not to, oh, get off of TikTok and don't do this and don't wear that and don't, whatever, but to really just hold fast in Jesus and of Jesus. And I actually feel like crying. I don't know if it's like a, whew, like a burden cry of like, you know, I just want to share my heart with you and how serious I feel or how burdened I feel by this. But I'm going to try not to cry because I just did my makeup for another video and I, can't ruin it. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, uh, just wanted to share that tidbit. I don't know if you are on this video because you have left the Christian faith recently or are thinking about it or are still in it, but just want to know what I'm talking about. Um, whatever side of the coin you're on, I just wanted to encourage you to seek Jesus and to really um, get to know him. I think that often we can base relationship with Jesus off of Christians and what they've done or haven't done. And I wanted to encourage you to not allow that to make you dwindle in your faith or to leave Jesus because people didn't represent him well, right? There's there's two sides of that coin of, okay, there's people of God, but then there's God. People of God are flawed, God is not flawed. And although we may never understand 
everything about God. We'll never understand everything about the world even if we were to lose our faith or give up our faith and just like live for the world. We'll never understand that either. So it's like, well, in, in Christ, at least there's this assurance that there is this God that created this universe, that created this world, that loves me, that has a purpose and a calling on my life, that wants me to live in a way that does not bring harm or destruction or, you know, just pain to myself. Um, versus just throwing it all away just to live based off of how my flesh wants to live or how my flesh desires to live. So, yeah, um, just wanted to encourage y'all. I do feel like, you know, I have been distracted in the past couple of years with just all the things that I've been doing um, as a content creator, as an influencer, you know, beauty, lifestyle, wellness over on Instagram. Um, I just really felt burdened to share this and I don't know if it's a message straight from God. Um, I don't know if it's just what I think I've been wanting to say for a while. Um, but in whatever light it might be, um, that's basically really all I have to share. Um, I really do hope this video encouraged you or just kind of gave you insight, um, into yes, you know, people do change, but social media may not be the dictator of whether someone believes in Jesus or not and also not to lose faith in God because it seems cultural to have done that. I feel like we're in a very cultural, you know, time in society where not believing in anything is cool or not believing in anything is ideal because we're all deconstructing and breaking away from our faith or all these different things. But I just wanted to encourage you to do the heavy work with Jesus, you know. Um, don't leave Jesus to deconstruct. Deconstruct in the presence of Jesus and let him tell you which pieces are of him and are not of him. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to say, y'all. It was a mouthful, but I really do hope this message spoke to someone. I really do hope this video spoke to someone. Um, and comment below with your thoughts on this subject. Um, Lots of Christians are leaving the faith or prominent Christians are leaving the faith, um, you know, verbally, not just like, oh, we're assuming, but like declaring like I am no longer a Christian or a believer or maybe just, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. But anyways, if you know of anyone and you can relate, don't put them in the comment section, obviously, but feel free to share your story and your experience. You know, um, do you see this happening around you in your friend group? Do you see this happening just in society? Do you see this happening with yourself? Um, feel free to comment below um, and let's just not lose our awe of God. Let's not lose our awe of God and see him as mundane and see him as, you know, oh, whatever, it's just God, you know? Let's not lose sight of the mighty of God and who God is um, and give that up for <laughs> the, the basic average tendencies of the world. Um, or just, you know, whatever. So, anywho, I love y'all. Um, I'm very much growing into a big sister, big auntie for y'all. <laughs> and it's fine, you know, I love it here. Um, I really do hope that you all are doing well and that this video did speak to you. And if it did, feel free to share below or just take it to your prayer room or your prayer closet and talk to God about it. Um, but that's basically all I have to share. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment below, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye. <laughs>